Hi, I want to give you a quick overview of the new schoolwork features in my big campus. And this is a pretty big upgrade from the previous version, so there's a lot of great things that you want to see here. First of all, this button here or this button, both of them will get you right back to this screen anytime you navigate away from it. The Assigned to You tab is a place where you can go if quizzes or assignments are actually given to you as the teacher and that might happen for professional development purposes. Over on this side we have a link to return to the old schoolwork. If, um, if you don't like all these changes and you want to keep working with what you've become accustomed to from the old interface, you have this option to return to old schoolwork I believe until January of 2013 after which this interface will become permanent. But I have a feeling if you give this a shot, you're going to want to stay here because there's a lot of really great new options. Right here we have some buttons. Here's where you're going to go most frequently. You're going to add new schoolwork with this button. This one will allow you to import questions from exam view. If you have the exam view software that comes with a lot of textbook um, companies, you can export that in a Blackboard format and then import it into My Big Campus Schoolwork and I'll conduct another video tutorial on how to do that. Here's a button where you can go to export grades and if you have certain um, gradebook um, programs for your school like PowerSchool you can actually export those grades in a format that can be easily imported in PowerSchool. Um, right here is a list of your assignments that you have created and a lot of these of mine have come over from the old schoolwork feature. When you opt in to the new schoolwork interface, about 24 to 48 hours later, um, you will see your old assignments that will pop in here. So if you're worried that you're going to lose those, they will come in but it won't be immediate. You'll have to give it a little bit of time after you opt in for them to import your um, your old assignments over. Over here we have a couple shortcuts. These are recently created assignments that you've made and then down here is recently submitted. So these are things that students have recently turned in. Give me a shortcut to go take care of um, grading those or taking a look at them. When we click on the name of an assignment we get some additional options. We can edit the assignment and that gives us the full access to edit um, the questions or the due date, or anything that we might need to edit for that particular assignment. Here's where we can go and view the assignments that have been submitted. Here we can duplicate the assignment if we want to create maybe a, just a slightly modified version of it, um, be very good for differentiated instruction, we can create a duplicate and that will give you an assignment that looks like this, copy of and then the title of the assignment and then you can go in and edit those questions and assign it to a different um, select number of students. If we had any that needed to be graded in this category, which I don't for this particular assignment, but this would be something I could click on to take a shortcut to that. And then of course I can delete the assignment as well. I can also quickly see which ones um, need grading, how many have been submitted, an average of the completed scores, and also what type of assignment this particular um, task was. So that's a kind of an overview of the main um, screen that you see when you first log into the schoolwork section. I'll be creating video tutorials for each of those individual things to show you how to better use all of those parts.